whenever you're fighting against a guy who's bringing pressure and he really hits hard, you want to take the power away. So you got to have the options. Monday is footwork, so we go lateral. So when a guy's coming with good footwork, you got to be able to keep him from planting his feet. And what that'll do is prevent him from being able to land, set down on his punches and throw power. Next thing, the other option, when Errol was walking forward, he's got to be able to walk backwards and counter with uppercut and slide back into his lateral movement as well. Walking backwards shrinks the, the larger fighter or it sets anyone up for a counter punch. Then, walking forward, once you've gotten and exhausted and frustrated the other guy, off rhythm, walking towards him, being able to punch here, punch here, come over the top, stand off, keeping your head off the line. Those things are extremely important. So you gotta have those key components whenever you're doing your shadow boxing. Forward, lateral, backwards. I see most guys, and you're guilty of it, whenever you're shadow boxing, I see you always going forward. <laughs> like you're just that dude. But I never see anyone take the true handlebars and really start utilizing the ring for different things. So whenever you're in a fight, especially of that magnitude, you have options. And that's kind of what it is. Next, we also focus on Monday, our punch logistics. So we have a, a great series of power punches that we work on. So down here, this is the six week camp. We're working on punch cycle four. Power punches from the mid range walking in to the inside. You gotta have options, certain kind of punches, certain punch combinations that you use as set up punches to break your opponent down. How do you get a guy out of there? You gotta have a sequence of punches that'll really, really hit them in the spots, that really take the gas out of them and soften up that chin. So today was one, seven, 10, two, which is George is gonna throw the one, boom, seven, boom. Really clean, one, pop, seven, boom. And as you can see, don't commit to the one until you get to the seven, and then he's gonna come under on the other side with a 10. That's straight to the solar plexus. So it's boom, one. Seven, ship over here, 10, and then two. So boom, one, bam, boom, and two. That two, after that seven, breaks him forward, then the two, bam. And then he sidesteps, pivot, throws the three, two, five, two. Look left, look right, double, jab. And that is how we put a combination together. Ready? So he breaking this way, I'm breaking the other way. That was on me. Ready? That's it. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Give it out. Good. That is so vicious. One more time, says the king. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Give it out. Look down. Look right. That's good. What I'm trying to say is, once you throw those power combinations, one of the key essential things that you must do is look left and look right. Don't just come out throwing combinations from the mid range or the inside. That is key and that's essential. And what you will learn in that six week training camp that all you guys were looking to um, really start following is there's a long variations of power shots in three or four cycles, meaning punch, defend, rotate, move, counter again, bringing them down into the deepest waters, and then breaking your opponent down with power shots. Now, that's all I got for right now. Right here we got the Wild Prince in the building. Coach Eric Bradley, we signing out. If you guys are really looking to how to really put your footwork together, how to put your combinations together, how to run your camp, six week training camp guides you. And remember, always feel free to reach out and talk to us. Leave your comments down below because coaches, remember we, we work for you. Coach Eric Bradley, I'm out of here. Links above, be blessed at God's speed. Peace.